Let's sit and meditate for a few minutes. Anam Bhavana Sapaknan. The weather's taking a turn for the cold. It's not too bad. It's a lot colder in a lot of other places. But still, you want to learn how to keep yourself warm while you meditate. And it means keeping well wrapped up. Even if you think this is nothing much, still, it's good to keep the body protected. And to work on the warmth inside. These are there are four elements or four properties in our body. It's, it sounds like medieval chemistry, but it's actually a way of thinking about how you experience the body from within. We don't have much of a vocabulary for that, so the Buddha gives us one to start with. There are four properties here. There's solidity, the hard or heavy feelings inside the body, impenetrable feelings. Then there's breath, which is the energy, which can be either still or moving. Water, liquidity, and John Fuhr talks about it as the coolness you feel. And then, of course, there's warmth of fire. In a cold, wet day like this, you want to work on the fire. So notice where the parts of the body are that are warm, warmer than the others, and focus your attention there. Stay with that sense of warmth. Use the perception of warmth to augment that. And you'll see that there's a potential there. This is what the whole theory of property is all about. There are these potentials in the body, and they can be actualized by your perceptions. So you hold the perception of warmth at the warmest spot, and after a while, when there is a sense of there really is extra warmth there, then you can spread that around to the rest of the body. This is one lesson in how our perceptions have a huge impact on how we perceive things, well, of course, on how we actually experience things, and how that they, they can be tools in developing potentials that are already there that we may not have been able to access before or even realize that we had them as potentials before. So learn to play with this a little bit. On very hot days, you can think of the water in the body. On days when you're feeling dizzy, think of the earth element in the body. On the days when you're feeling sluggish, you can think of the energy. Okay, these things can be accessed and augmented by your perceptions. And so learn how to do that. And part of the power of the perception, of course, comes from the concentration you use with it. If you hold on to the perception for two seconds and say, I don't see any change, well, it's not going to happen in two seconds. You have to stick with it for a while. Hold it in mind. And then after all, you begin to see it really does have an impact.